Sometimes a weapon's mastery lockout isn't very representative of its power. And other times that number is spot on. Hey guys, hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar and today we're gonna be diving deeper into this mastery rank 7 primary weapon, the Dera Vandal. I'm gonna be covering a cheap build, something affordable that anybody can build, but of course we also have the classic end game setup with a Riven. That being said though, please keep in mind that my builds and guides usually follow a more new player friendly approach, simply because there's a lot of info here and I want anybody watching to understand how the weapon functions and how it should be built. So if you're a veteran of the game and already know most of this stuff, then please, bear with me. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the Dera Vandal. Let's begin by checking out how the weapon handles without any mods equipped and for that I'm simply gonna be taking a couple of free shots. The Dera Vandal is an automatic rifle that fires these plasma balls. It's a projectile based weapon so you will have to deal with the projectile travel time. However, for the most part they are pretty quick and the weapon is pinpoint accurate. You'll also notice that there's basically no recoil to the weapon, steady as a rock. Let's jump into stats to see precisely what we're dealing with. First of all, mod capacity, 60 out of 60, and if your Dera Vandal only has 30 out of 30, then jump into actions and install an Auto King Catalyst. The Auto King Catalyst can be found from alerts, invasions, or if you're lucky, from the daily sortie. As an alternative measure, you can pay 20 plat to have one plugged in. Next, my weapon has been formatted a total of 5 times, that is because the Dera Vandal does not come with any polarity, so you will have to format 5 times for the weapon build I'm gonna be recommending you. Accuracy is 100, as you saw there the weapon is pretty accurate, however if I am going to put on heavy caliber, check out the accuracy value, honestly I can't even explain it, it's a mystery to me, it goes down to 7.2 and you saw how the weapon handled before, well check it out now, it's an absolute bloody mess. For that reason I am forced not to recommend heavy caliber on this weapon and to be honest this mod would have been a godsend for it. In any case let us continue. Critical chance is 8%, abysmal, the multiplier is nice at 2.0x but there's not really much we can get out of it considering the low base crit chance. However keep in mind that effects such as arcane avenger additive after crit chance effects will be extremely good on the Dera Vandal. Fire rate 11.25 with a magazine of 60 and a reload of 1.8. Little to no downtime when it comes to the Dera Vandal and of course you can further augment this with carrier together with ammo case. Riven Disposition 4 out of 5 which means that the Dera series is not exactly popular, they're seen more kinda like baby weapons, however you will see that the weapon can pack one serious punch. Status chance is 30% and this is where the weapon shines. Next let's talk about the default damage on the weapon. We have IPS, Impact, Puncture and Slash and the highest amount by far is Puncture. Unfortunately for us, Slash is the lowest value, 1.6, I don't even understand why it's even here. So even if we were to slap on something like Fang Fusillade, the Slash value will never even get close to the Puncture. Not even close to the Impact for that matter. In any case, let's start slapping on some mods, starting with the mandatory mods. And there's nothing more mandatory than serration with 165% more damage. When it comes to damage options, well, unfortunately, we don't really have that many options. Heavy caliber would have been awesome on it, but as you saw there, it basically makes the weapon spray all over the screen and I do not recommend it. Sure, you can still get some value out of this one when it comes to close quarter combat, but then again, switch to melee in that case. So we're gonna go straight to multi-shot with split chamber and vigilante armament. Split chamber 90% and vigilante armament 60%. So in total we're gonna get 150%, which means that with every single shot we have a guaranteed second projectile and a 50% chance at a third projectile. The set bonus from vigilante armaments in this case won't really matter because again we're not really gonna be critting much with the Dera Vandal. Now normally again this is when you would go into crit chance and crit damage, unfortunately for the Dera Vandal that is a bit pointless so we're gonna go straight to elemental damage. And elemental damage should always be applied on a weapon depending on the encounter, who exactly is that you're shooting. If you're up against the infested for example, I recommend AoE weapons heavily modded into heat. The infested have 4 health types, each with their own unique vulnerabilities and resistances to different types of damage and you can find that info out on the wiki. If you're up against corpus faction you can build magnetic which will deal extra damage against their shields, however a smarter idea might be to build gas or a toxin which will bypass their shields entirely and deal damage 
to their health. When it comes to Grenier, these are the toughest targets in Warframe, and they have two armor types, Alloy, which is weak to radiation damage, and Ferrite, which is weak to corrosive damage. Against Grenier, more often than not, your best option is to build corrosive damage. Now also keep in mind that the highest damage value on the Dera Vandal is Puncture, and Puncture will deal 50% extra damage against Ferrite armor, and 15% extra damage against alloy armor. So at least against armor targets the Dera Vandal should be doing quite nicely. In any case we're gonna be building corrosive on our weapon so we're gonna go to the electricity mods. Should I use the 90 mods or the 60 60 mods? Well in this case we're actually gonna be using both. As you will see we don't really have that many great options to the Dera Vandal because crit is taken out of the equation. Got my electricity now we're gonna go into toxin. Now none of these mods are expensive with one exception, high voltage. This one can be farmed from in-game. The mission is called Na Elgar on the planet Eris. You will have to find all the free secret caches, then upon extraction you got a 5% chance of getting high voltage or shell shock, which is the exact same mod only for shotguns and you will be needing both for your primary builds. The grind on Na Elgar is pretty grueling so you might want to hit up the trade chat. This one on PC currently goes for about 40 to 50 plat, something like that, well means check Warframe market. We still have one more mod slot left on the weapon and this is what I like to call the option slot. Please cater each and every weapon to your own individual playstyle. For example, a lot of players enjoy Shred or Prime Shred and for good reason too. Fire Rate mixed in together with Punch Through. Fire Rate will lower our kill time and Punch Through means that our projectiles will be traveling through the initial target for 1.2 meters. If you have Prime Shred that will be 2.2 meters with 55% increased fire rate. If you got that one, of course. What I want to do is pause for a second and take a look at what we built on the weapon so far. Keep in mind that Impact, Puncture and Slash, the physical types have a 4 times greater chance of proccing over elemental types such as Corrosive. So when you're trying to figure out exactly what will proc first, look at IPS times 4. In fact, my Puncture has the exact same value as Corrosive when it comes to status proc, so these two will be battling for status procs with a status chance of 93.3%. I'm gonna leave the weapon as is because I want to highlight something. When you're building a status weapon for corrosive there is such a thing as overstripping or overdoing it and I'm gonna show exactly what I mean. First we're gonna go for headshots on the target on the right and the health bar goes red. Then we're gonna go for body shots on the target on the left. Now take a look at my consistent white damage, 550, yes, 550, 552, 552. Now their health bar went red, if I continue shooting you will see that my consistent white damage went down to 333. That is because all the armor has been stripped away from the target. When that happens my weapon loses its 75% extra bonus damage versus ferrite armor that I got from building a lot of corrosive. That is because there is no more ferrite armor left on the target, what is left is cloned flesh and I don't have any bonus against cloned flesh, that is why I'm doing a whole lot less damage. Also keep in mind that this is primarily a puncture weapon which will deal 50% bonus damage versus ferrite, which again is completely gone now. So as you can see you can overdo it when it comes to stripping armor from your targets. The main reason we're building corrosive is yes one for the status proc which will remove some of that armor but also for the damage bonus it gets so keep that one in mind. Now to keep my weapon from overstripping there are a couple of solutions I can deploy. First of all I can go to add another element and if you have prime cryo rounds fully maxed out then by all means go for that one. Basically what I want to do is introduce one more element that will compete for status procs with the existing one so I strip less armor from the target. I know it seems a little bit counterintuitive but as you saw there if I'm gonna remove all of it then I'm gonna be doing less damage to the target. What I can do is add hellfire. What Hellfire will do aside from adding some bonus heat damage is add one more element that will compete for status procs so therefore I will be getting less corrosive procs. And if worse comes to worse and I'm gonna be removing all of the armor from my target then at least heat does have a damage bonus modifier against cloned flesh so keep that one in mind. That is a solution, here's another one, Piercing Caliber, a mod that I almost never really recommend. Now take a look at the damage amount on the weapon from Hellfire. 189. It is the exact same amount 
that piercing caliber will add, but only to puncture. Keep in mind once again that IPS does have a 4 times greater chance of proccing over elemental types and this will fix my overstrip issue. And of course puncture does have that 50% bonus damage versus ferrite armor. So in my case, in this specific circumstance, this is gonna be the best setup I can go for. Keep in mind that these mods should be swapped in and out depending on the encounter. If I was going up against the infested then absolutely I would have gotten a lot more out of hellfire. This is the first build I'm recommending to you guys and as you can see the Dera Vandal is fully capable of taking out one of these high level targets in a full clip. Actually it takes about 50 bullets depending once again on status procs. At least for headshots I am no longer overstripping the armor so there is that to take into account. When it comes to the weapon's performance, I would say this is average towards good for MR7. Again, around MR7 you do have a couple of options when it comes to primary weapons, but if you love the Dera Vandal, rest assured that it does pack a punch. Once again, average towards good from my point of view. The problem is the weapon doesn't really have any crit chance and that hurts it badly. All it has is status chance and the base amount of damage mm, isn't really all that high. In any case, what we're going to be doing next is looking at a Riven setup. I did manage to get a Riven for this one. It's a triple positive with a negative. We got damage and multi-shot, which in the case of the Dera Vandal is ideal. Because once again, can't really go into crit chance, crit damage. Ammo maximum doesn't really help me all that much. And the negative there barely makes a difference in the weapon's handling. And of course, I swapped in the Riven instead of the Puncture mod. And we're going to test the weapon out like this. Now, because of that damage bonus on the Riven, I will not need as many shots to take out a target so therefore I will be stripping less armor for my target so that fixes my problem as you can see a Riven does make quite a difference this is a Dispo 4 weapon so primarily its strength doesn't really come from that high status chance it comes from the high Riven Dispo when it comes to priorities I would definitely encourage multi-shot and damage above everything else do not go for status chance honestly you do not need it at all as for another element on the weapon that I would encourage electricity or toxin, once again building corrosive or maybe you want to build some radiation and fight some bomb bars, that's also a very good option. As you can see, a Dispo 4 Riven definitely makes a difference and keep in mind that only two stats on that Riven actually help me. There's one more thing I want to do before going amp up everything with Warframe buffs and we're gonna be using Rifle Amp, 27% extra damage to rifles, this is an aura so everybody in your party will be receiving this benefit and it is stackable times 4. If you're going up against Grenier, then Corrosive Projection is guaranteed to give you better results, but Rifle Amp will grant its benefit regardless of the target. When it comes to Arcanes, you do have a couple of options. Arcane Rage, on headshot, 10% chance for plus 100 and 20% damage to rifles for 16 seconds. This is the best option you got. Currently on the trade chat, I think it's around 150 plat. I may be wrong, check Warframe Market for more appropriate prices. As for your second Arcane, you can go for Arcane Acceleration. However, the fire rate on the Dera Vandal is good enough as it is. If you're going for Arcane Acceleration on a projectile weapon, when you're missing a couple of shots, that might hurt you. And you also might be forced into carrier with ammo case if you want a higher fire rate. Here's another good option, Arcane Avenger. Of course, critical chance on a weapon that was never meant to have any crit. And of course, you can run it with Harrow to get orange and red crits out of an 8% crit chance weapon. We're gonna be testing the weapon out like this, only this time we're gonna be unpausing the AI so they can hit me and I can get my crit chance bonus from Arcane Avenger. Activate Mirage's third ability for a massive damage increase as well as the clones. And now I'm fully able to tear through these high level targets in just a couple of bullets. Take a look at that. Now that is truly impressive. Just keep in mind that I am rocking a Riven that has more multi-shot and damage than Serration and Split Chamber combined. Also these are some rather extreme Warframe buffs. The Dera Vandal is very iconic for what it means to be Mastery Rank 7. The weapon can certainly pack a punch, but it's definitely not one of the best primaries in the game. And that's gonna do it for the review. As always, my name is Ben Lazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you have any feedback for me or would like to request a specific weapon review, then by all means leave it in the comment section down below. I can't realistically promise you that it'll be done by next time or even within a week, but I will be reading through each and every comment. Comment. Until next time guys, bye bye!